Now we will learn how to draw the phasor diagrams. Phasor diagrams are very important. It will give you an understanding of what is the phase relations between each of the quantities, electrical quantities of a particular circuit. Okay. So first we will take only single individual uh, circuit elements. So that means first we will take resistance. Okay. So for a resistor, if this is voltage and current I of t, okay, then what will be the phasor relationship? Now we already know that the impedance is equal to R, which is a purely real part, right? So this is R. So now what will be the relation between the voltage phasor and current phasor? V bar is equal to Z times I bar. This means that V bar is equal to R times I bar. Since it is only a constant, there is no imaginary part. What will happen? These V bar and I bar are going to have the same phase. That is why we got a purely real component in the first place, right? So the, what will be the phasor diagram? If this is V bar, then I bar is going to have the magnitude V bar by R and the phase is going to be the same. If both of them also it is possible that both of them they can have a particular phase. Okay, so this is how the phasor relationship for a resistance is like. Next, for an inductor if you take. So we have already derived the uh, impedance of the inductor is given by J omega L. So that means V bar is equal to J omega L I bar. So you can see that the phase of the voltage if you take as phi V, this is equal to 90 degrees plus the phase of current. This is phase of voltage and this is phase of current. Okay. So that means if you take the, we will take this as the reference and phi V, let us say it is like this. Okay. So this is the voltage phasor. Then phi I will be 90 degrees lagging because phi V is 90 plus phi I. Okay. So that means you have to draw a perpendicular like this. So this is at 90 degrees. This is the current phasor. So what do we understand from here? The current phasor lags by 90 degrees. In a resistor, both are in phase. Next, what about capacitor? Here we know that the impedance is given by 1 by j omega c or minus j by omega c. So what will be the voltage phasor? This you are going to get as minus j by omega c i bar. So this means the phase of voltage is equal to minus 90 degrees plus phase of i. Okay. So here it, you can see it is just the opposite of the inductor. If the voltage phasor is like this phi v then the current is going to be leading by 90 degrees. Current phasor leads by 90 degrees. You can say the other way around as well. If current phasor is lagging by 90 degrees, this means that voltage phasor of an inductor is leading by 90 degrees. Similarly, here for a capacitor, the voltage phasor will lag the current phasor by 90 degrees. Next, we will consider a combination, a combination of R and L. Then what will be the impedance here? This is equal to R plus J omega L. So V bar is equal to R plus J omega L into the current phasor. So what will be the relation here? If this is the reference and this is the voltage phasor which is at a angle phi V. Now where will the current phasor be? You can get this from the phase of this R plus J omega. So what will be this phase phi V is equal to tan inverse omega L by R plus phi I. 
Now this value here, this is going to be a positive quantity. So that means this phi i will always be less than phi v because this is positive quantity. So we can say that the current will be lagging. So this is the current phasor. Okay. Now what about for a capacitance, resistance in series with capacitance? Then what will you get? Z is equal to R minus J by omega C. So here you're going to get V bar is equal to R minus J by omega C angle I bar. So what will be phi V? This is equal to minus tan inverse 1 by omega C R plus phi I. So this value here it is going to be a negative value. So phi I in this case it will be leading the voltage. So if this is the voltage phasor, this is phi V, then the current phasor is going to be like this, it is going to be leading. For this reason, the inductive loads, they are often called as lagging load and a capacitive load is taken as considered as a leading load, okay, depending on whether the current is lagging or leading the voltage phasor. Here we'll do a simple problem. Draw phasor diagram and impedance triangle of the following. So first we will have to find the impedance, right? So what will be the impedance? The real part is 2 plus the imaginary part is 2 minus 5. So you are going to get 2 minus J3. Now what will be the impedance triangle? The base will be as it is 2 but the imaginary part you can see it is negative. So instead of taking it in the positive direction, we will take it in the negative y direction. Okay, And this will be the hypotenuse. So this is going to be 5 and what will be the impedance here? 2 square plus root over 2 square plus 3 square. So this you are going to get 3.605. Then what will be the impedance angle? This will be the impedance angle. You can represent it as theta. So theta is equal to tan inverse minus 3 by 2. So here you are going to get minus 56.31 degrees. Now what will be the phasor diagram? V bar is equal to 3.605 angle minus 56.31 into I bar. So that means the current will be leading the voltage by 56.31 degrees. Why? Because phi v is equal to minus 56.31 plus phi i. So phi i will be greater than phi v. So if you take this as v bar, then i bar is going to be leading by 56.31 degrees. This is the phasor diagram. Here we have another question. Find v of t and i of t when v s of t is equal to 10 cos 4 t. So this is the given circuit. So we will see how to do this. So we are going to make use of phasors, right? So it is given that Vs of t is equal to 10 cos 40. So this means that Vs bar, which is the phasor, this we are going to write as 10 angle 0 degrees. What are the information we have? Omega is equal to 4. Now how can you find the current? You can find by taking the voltage phasor Vs bar divided by this impedance. Okay, So first we have to find impedance. So impedance Z is equal to R plus Jx. So what is R here? R is given as 5 ohms. Now we have a capacitor here. That means this is going to be negative. Reactance is going to be negative. So minus J by omega c. What is omega? It is given as 4. c is 0.1. So this you are going to get 5 minus j 2.5. So if you want in the uh, magnitude and phase form, then you are going to get 5.59 angle minus 26.56 degrees. From here we can get the current phasor V s bar divided by z. So this is going to be 10 angle 0 divided by 5.59 angle minus 26.56 degrees. This is going to be 1.789 angle 
26.56 degrees. So from here, therefore, we can write I of T is equal to 1.789. Here cos you have to write because here Vs of T is cos 4T. That we are taking as the reference. So cos 4T plus 26.56 degrees. From here, how will you find the voltage? V of T, we will first find the phasor V bar. So what will be the phasor? The current phasor, the current through the capacitance into the impedance of the capacitance, which is minus J by omega C, which is 4 into 0.1. So you are going to get 1.789 angle, 789 angle 26.56 degrees into 2.5 angle minus 90 degrees. Thus you are going to get 4.47 angle minus 63.44 degrees. Okay. From here you can get V of T is equal to 4.47 cos 4T minus 63.44 degrees.